Hi, this is Ben from the blog Indie Mac User. I've been a huge fan of Kevin Smith for a while now, but I've also been a fan of Christopher Downey's work. It amazed me that there was someone doing this, and not only that, there was someone doing it right here in the UK. I just wanted to make this video as a thank you to Chris and Brett for all their hard work and getting all the little details right, and making some of us all us fans have wanted to see for years. Thank you guys, I hope you enjoy this video. Hey everybody, this is actor-musician Scott Schiaffo. I played the role of Donald Smith in Shooting Clerks. I was also very fortunate to be cast as the Chulies Gum Guy in the original Clerks. And I want to do a quick shout out, a thank you and a congratulations to Chris Downey and Brett Murray. Great job, guys. Uh, you guys are all heart. You put all your heart, soul, and passion into this project. And I know it was a bumpy ride, as most indies are, but... Uh, I thank you for having me on board. Thank you to James Noir, who did an outstanding job uh, as a director that day on the set in New Jersey. He was an immense help with me. And uh, uh, we're all looking forward to seeing the finished product. I'm, I'm sure it's going to be pretty mind-blowing. So all the best, guys. Thanks for having me on board. Hi, my name's Matthew Postlethwaite. I play Walt Flanagan in the Kevin Smith Shooting Clerks biopic. Um, yeah, so a bit about the character. Walt Flanagan is this kind of cool guy. He plays multiple roles actually in Clerks and it's quite cool how he's playing multiple roles in Shooting Clerks, but I'm actually playing him inside Shooting Clerks, so it's kind of a bit of a mind. Um, yeah, so a little message for Brett and Christopher Downey, um, the producers and directors and the writers of it. Um, just, it was great to work with you guys. Um, and yeah, stay in touch, I'm sure we'll, our paths will cross again. So yeah, Shooting Clerks is fantastic. Definitely go check it out. Hello, my name is Stephanie Price and I play Lisa Spooner and her Clerks character, Caitlin Bree, in the upcoming Kevin Smith biopic, Shooting Clerks. Um, this message is for everyone involved in the making of Shooting Clerks, but especially for <laughs> Chris, Downey and Brett Murray, who, you know, I will never be able to repay for this entire experience. Uh, as an actor, you're constantly battling this internal struggle of, okay, is it, you know, time to settle down and get, get a normal life started? Or, you know, and no, you know, I can't not do this for the rest of my life. And then you get pulled into something like this and it's just completely reignites that flame that you have for creating something with like-minded people and, you know, really just getting to use, you know, your heart and your instinct and just doing what you love and it is such a rewarding experience and I will never be able to repay you for the opportunity that you've given me and I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for, you know, choosing me to work with you guys on such a big, you know, and it, it was difficult at times, but such a big and fun, you know, amazing project. And you guys worked your asses off day in and day out, and uh, this is all down to you, you know, this is, this is your baby, and I am just, you know, I'm proud now to, to call you my family, and I really am humbled to be part of the Aldrichie family. And I just loved being on set and living with, you know, people who I consider to be my family now. <laughs> so many good inside jokes, you know, Manchester Sandwich is always a classic around us. Um, you know, there was a Salty Dog Pub, which was a bit sketchy. Um, and in that time that a few of us went up to St. Andrews and just spent the day on the beach, hanging out. You know, it was just... It's just amazing to be with like-minded people who all, you know, love creating and who all just love life. And it just really, really, really reassured me that, you know, if you have the right amount of heart and the right amount of passion, you can accomplish anything. And I want to thank you for giving that back to me because I was really struggling before finding this project. And I was, you know, really, really hoping for something like this in my life. and. I'm just so, so, like I said, I'm just so humbled 
to be able to, you know, even know you guys, um, <laughs> you know, look at what you've done. It's gone completely viral. I, I nearly fell out of my chair singing on the IMDb homepage, you know, it's just amazing, you know, and your efforts, your hard work is paid off and you, there are, there's no one more deserving than you guys, honestly. Chris and Brett, I just, I can't say thank you enough. And I can't wait to see everyone again at the premiere. I can't wait to see, you know, what's next in store for us and what's next in store for Aldriki. And, you know, just thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you guys. Hey guys, it's uh, Brian O'Halloran here. And uh, I've been able to track down the actual camera that was used to shoot the original Clerks back in 1993. So this is what, what we're doing here is you guys are seeing it right. Talk about getting it right, right? Anyway, I'm Brian O'Halloran, and uh, I'm a part of this great new uh, kind of documentary feature film thingy, Shooting Clerks, uh, written by Christopher Downey and uh, worked with Brett and those guys. They're awesome to work with. I thought this was a, a great um, encapsulation of a true story, as my mother would say, uh, about us making the film Clerks back in 93. Kevin Smith's uh, inaugural film, a uh, huge cult classic. Um, I played Dante Hicks in that film, and uh, I've really, really enjoyed seeing how uh, these guys have put together this great kind of documentary uh, of, you know, it's a, of, of what I lived, what we all lived uh, in the uh, the USQ Clerks family. And what's great is uh, they've been able to gather around quite a few number of uh, original cast members from the original Clerks to play other roles in this film, Shooting Clerks. Uh, so you got myself, you got Marilyn Gigliotti in it, you have Ernie O'Donnell, Scott Schiaffo, I think Kevin uh, is doing the voiceovers. On, I mean, it's really, really come together. I really look forward to, to seeing the finished product. I also want to give a, a big shout out to anybody and everybody who contributed to the uh, to the fundraising uh, to get this thing up and running and, and out there. And uh, a big shout out to obviously Kevin for uh, putting his uh, approval, his stamp of approval on this project. I think it's uh, it's awesome, you know, helping younger filmmakers on their way up and. Uh, I really, really, really enjoy the fact that these guys have gotten it done. So I play um, Ellis Heimerman uh, from uh, the, the, the two brother duo who run Weisenheimer Films in the film. So um, we're kind of the ones that give the, uh, the filmmaker Kevin and, and producer Scott their big break when they get to Sundance. So look forward to that scene and uh, I look forward to the whole thing. Hi, my name is Ashley Graziano, and I play Marilyn Gigliotti in the film Shooting Clerks. I just want to say thank you to Chris and Britt and the whole cast and crew for making the entire experience productive and inspirational. And I just want to say that I had so much fun on the project, and I miss desperately all the comic book talks that we had before filming. I learned so much. Seriously, I learned so much. I will forever treasure those moments, and I look forward to the future and what is to come. Thanks, guys. Hi, I'm Mark Frost, and I play Kevin Smith in Shooting Clerks. I wanted to make this message for Brett and Chris, because I think they deserve a big hand for the way that they put the film together. Brett was a great producer. He always kept things running smoothly, no matter the considerable obstacles that were put in our way. And Chris was a fun director, as always. His uh, knowledge and enthusiasm for filmmaking has always taken me by surprise. We've uh, had a great time making movies together for the past 10 years, it must be now. Thanks to everyone who worked on this movie. It was a blast. I couldn't have done it without you. This is Scott Holden. I host the podcast That Man on Fat Man. I was very proud to be involved with the project Shooting Clerks and all the folks involved in making it. I hold in my hand here my framed call sheet from that experience. It was signed by everyone on the on the uh, crew, and I'm very proud of it. Very proud of my experience. I'm very happy to have uh, met up with you guys when I did, and jumped in and been able to support the project through the show. And uh, I can't wait till it comes out. I'm glad to hear that filming is wrapped. Good luck, take care, can't wait to see it. Hi, I'm Fran Cressy, and I played the little smoking girl in Clerks. 
And in Shooting Clerks, I was able to make a cameo appearance as a big smoking girl. I wanted to say congratulations to Chris Downey on your movie. I also wanted to say thank you so much for including me. Um, I'm so flattered to have even been asked to be a part of this. I'm excited, especially as someone who was born and raised in Leonardo, New Jersey. I can't wait to see the finished product. Um, it's surreal to me that something I did when I was four years old, that this role as Little Smoking Girl has followed me throughout my life and it's still a part of my life today and that people are still excited about it. It's just, it's the coolest thing. Um, I also wanted to say thank you to James and his crew for letting me hang out with them for the day to be able to play actress. Um, thank you to Lacey, Amber, Mike, Chris, Dan. I had such a good time hanging out with you guys. Um, Ernie O'Donnell working alongside of him was super cool. And even having my own little smoking girl protege, it was fantastic. Um, so thank you again. Congratulations. Um, I wish you the best of luck in the future. And I can't wait to see the movie. Hey kids, Corey Epps here. Uh, from the Evil Teddy Bear podcast, and I'm I'm on this whole thing. I am a cheerleader. That's about it. I am the guy who will pass this movie around to all my friends at some point and be like, "Hey, let's watch this right now," or you know, "You've got to see this right now." I'll probably talk about it as much as I've been talking about the movie Tusk lately, and l I'm lucky enough to even get to know you guys. And so I just want to say, uh. First off, thank you for making this film. Um, second off, um, if you guys ever decide to need a black Kevin Smith, hi. Thank you so much for letting me be part of this project. Unbelievable. To, the opportunity to work with my favorite director, C Kevin Smith. Unbelievable. The gahunas you guys had. The, the balls, the gusto to do such an amazing project. Um, Brett Murray, hardest working producer, amazing guy from the get-go, has been was there taught me through the whole thing and was just so accommodating, made me feel so welcome from the start. Dale Murray, uh, amazing, amazing time, just uh, really felt, made us feel really accommodated and I had such a blast working with you on the soundtrack, dude, amazing. Um, uh, Chris Downey, amazing, amazing script writer, amazing director, taught, walked me through the whole process from start to finish. Alida Downey, amazing, amazing work on the hair, such a wonderful person to be with and it is all about making a movie with your friends and thank you guys so much for allowing me to be part of this project and um, we're, this is we're, this is going to go far guys we're going to this is it we're all a team and i i only i can only see big things for this i only see big things for shooting clerks shooting clerks all about making a uh, movie for your friends thanks guys you've been the best thank you oh hello there i'm chris bain and i play jason news in the upcoming feature film, Shooting Clerks. This is my video message to producer Brett Murray and director, writer extraordinaire, Chris Downey. I wanna thank you guys for giving me the opportunity to prove my acting chops and my worth by casting me as Jay in Shooting Clerks. The amount of effort and time and energy that you guys have put into ensuring that this film is a success and becomes a reality is incredible and you know from Chris using your whole house as a studio and a film set Brett from ensuring that every single minute of the day everything goes by clockwork making sure that everyone cast crew are comfortable and happy without you guys film would, would never have happened you know and you have to be commended for that and for the effort that you've put in Really, you deserve for this film to be a success, which I know that it will be. I'm excited to see it. I cannot wait to see the finished film. I think it's going to be incredible. Also, for the future, I can't wait to work with you guys again. Have a blast doing Shooting Clerks. The whole production was an amazing journey. Great experience. So much fun. I can't wait to see what the future has for Brett Murray and Chris Downey. It's going to be a good one. Hi, this is Dr. Scree from the Gallifrey Stands podcast, wishing a hearty congratulations to everyone who's worked on Shooting Clerks. It looks so amazing. Uh, everything we've been seeing, which has come out from behind the scenes, the trailer, it, it all just looks like such an amazing labour of love by our fellow Kevin Smith fans. Uh, so it's amazing to see. And uh, the fact that you've included so many people who were on the original Clerks, 
and who are behind the scenes on the original film is wonderful. Uh, it looks so good. Even though our podcast is about Doctor Who, it was inspired in large part by Kevin Smith and uh, by his podcast, obviously, but also by his films over the years, uh, dating right back to Clerks and his sense of humour and just his way of being. Uh, so it's wonderful that someone's celebrating that. I'm here wearing my Morats t-shirt myself right now. So, um, yeah, congratulations. Have a great time when the film comes out and um, love from Gallifrey Stands. Hi, uh, this is Marilyn Gigliotti, and everybody knows me as Veronica in Clerks, um, but in the shooting Clerks film, I play Allie, the uh, Village Voice writer who contacted Kevin and wanted to do a story on Clerks, because she had heard so many good things about it. Um, so... I just want to thank you guys uh, over at Shooting Clerks for letting me be a part of this and also to Chris especially. Uh, we've been in touch for I think it's close to a year now. Uh, I appreciate the fact that you reached out to me and wanted to know uh, my end of all the information in Clerks and where I was coming from, what was going on with me, um, and all the stories that you've heard, you know, based upon all the uh, videos and in interviews that are out there regarding a lot of us from Clerks. But it it's still kind of hard for me to fathom that um, after about 21, 22 years, um, that Clerks became what it has become and the fact that after all this time I'm actually being portrayed already on film you know usually something like that happens when someone's dead but <laughs> it's still all very surreal to me um, everything that kinda happens uh, to this day still but I do appreciate you guys for being the fans that you are, just like the millions of others that are out there, and putting something like this together. Uh, I don't know that I've ever really heard of anything else like that out there. Um, sure, that I think there have been documentaries and, and things like that, but no one kind of making it in a film way. Now, true, a lot of this is, is loosely based, uh, so, but it still gives people an idea. Um, and I look forward to seeing the final project. But I do wish you guys success on this. Um, I know it's been a long road for you and a hard road uh, with the fundraisers and, and just on wanting a couple of us to play a bigger role in the film as well and and it just didn't work out that way especially being that you guys are out and overseas and we're over here and but I, I'm happy that things finally worked out and we were able to make it work out um, and uh, having that film shoot in New Jersey so all the success and I hope that this is for you what Clerks was to Kevin. Hi guys, my name's Jay Booten and I play the cinematographer David Klein in the movie Shooting Clerks, as you can see by my t-shirt, <laughs> representing. Um, yeah, I, I apparently was the only person to audition for Dave Klein because I'm such a big fan of Kevin Smith and all his sort of, his movies and these his podcasts and all that kind of stuff I already knew a lot about him and his life coming into it uh, and sort of like the people he knew and the people that, were, that I would assume were going to be characters in the movie and I knew that I only really resembled Dave Klein I mean I wasn't going to get cast as anyone else so I went into the open audition um, to read for him uh, and I didn't get a chance to meet Chris or Brett at the audition the, uh, the original audition because it was done as part of a, a, as a, a big sort of like event going on. So I didn't get a chance to explain 
like how much of a super nerd fan whatever I am of Kevin Smith. So I started to tweet them and <clears throat> tweet about the audition and they got straight back to me saying, uh, yeah, you look just like the character, nice one, let's, let's hope you're successful. Um, and, and I was. So thank you so much, Chris and Brett, for, uh, for uh, hiring me. What's happening everyone? This is Ernie O'Donnell. You know me as Rick Derris from the movie Clerks. I play Sergeant Svenning in Shooting Clerks. So I'd like to give my mad props to Chris Downey and his man Brett and the whole crew across the pond over there for doing a fabulous job for putting this life story of Kevin Smith together. I was pretty, uh, pretty stoked when I heard that he was doing it and um pretty surprised of all the details and information that he had when he interviewed me it was uh it was pretty amazing how far in depth chris got with all the information and i was glad to help uh give him some accurate details uh on the inside life of kevin but um I had a great experience with the whole thing and uh these guys did a stellar job and very persistent and uh hats off to you guys for for non non stop and with the fundraising and everything else that you guys did on the internet and pushing it and pushing it and uh that's that's the way the movie's got to be made so uh congrats to you guys and uh as far as my uh my film in here in the united states it was it was it was pretty cool uh I got to be involved with James Noor, the second unit over here, and uh, I arrived on set uh, almost running James and one of his crew guys over with my truck, scared the shit out of him. I was dressed in the uh, Sergeant Svenning cop costume, I had the guns going, the uh, the glasses on. Those guys almost shit themselves when they when they saw me pull up because they had no clue who I was at, at first, but. Uh, then they said that we were going to be filming in front of the quick stop and not really filming in front of the quick stop. They hadn't uh, cleared it with with uh, the guys inside, and there was a little bit of worry that we weren't going to be able to film there. So we kind of did the old guerrilla style independent filming and did our shots and takes uh, before anybody <laughs> came and bothered us. But I think the fact that I was there dressed as a cop with the uh, official cop gear on uh kind of helped us out a little bit and then uh it was it was cool we had we had a great time and uh i i look forward to being a part of uh some future projects with these guys um again hats off to you guys you did a great job